don't know about you, but if you've got decking like this and you suddenly need to remove the boards and you don't want to knacker them up, you've got a bit of a job on your hands. Actually, in this case, uh, I think there's probably a rat's nest underneath and uh, they've just got in through a corner somewhere, down on the corner there, and by doing so, here we are in the summer in the UK and these things have died and there's one hell of a stink out here, I can tell you. Anyway, back to the boards. You can see that uh, quite often when they fit these boards, usually when they fit these boards, they're putting in screws, but they're embedding these screws really deep into the wood. And of course it aesthetically looks great, but it makes a right pain for getting them back out again. So what are you going to do if you don't really want to ruin the boards? Well, here's a couple of ideas. What I've been doing is, uh, so I've managed to take one board out already, is that I've been using a Dremel to, where the area like this is, you've got a concealed screw, is to take the Dremel down to the head of the screw, till the head of the uh, of the tool there just polishes, here's the, here's the tool itself, look, the top of the tool here, the abrasive tool, just polishes the top of the screw. And then what you're able to do is you're able to use perhaps a dental pick, something like this, pick out the top of the screw, and then you'll find it much easier to better un to undo these screws. But instead of me just talking about it, let me show you uh, me doing this. Of course, a bit, a bit of a challenge because I've got to hold the camera while I'm using the tools, but uh, I'll do my best. So first of all, let's have a go at this one with the Dremel. Just see the head of the screw there, so we're going to get hold of a dental pick and we're just going to pull the, the muck and the crud that's accumulated inside the, the crosshairs of the screw. And believe me, it makes it so much easier to be able to remove that screw. So, if we get ourselves a screwdriver, and I'm kneeling on, there we go, get it in there, then there we go, it's actually coming out not too bad. Of course, bear in mind that these screws are not always, in fact, they usually are not put in square to the board. Sometimes they put it at an angle or a funny, so it's quite important to get that right. Another thing you might try is this stuff. Screw grab. A little dob of screw dab. Screw grab in the top of the screw there. It's sort of a toothpaste consistency. Black. It's actually uh, abrasive paste. And then what happens is when you put your screwdriver in here, you're really getting the little carborundum pieces are going into the screw and going into the screwdriver and helping to create a really good um, socket and a good transmission of torque there. And there is one other thing you might try, which is this thing, which is a brace. All this has got is a it's about a 19, I think 1910 brace actually, you can get these vintage tools on eBay. But this is just um, one of the socket thingies for a, for a tool out of a, a socket set. And if you're able to use that to bring the screw out, one of the things that you really get with these is you get a magnificent amount of torque. You have to do it carefully and you do have to be patient with it. But that actually will make the job a lot easier, I think, and save yourself an awful lot of grief. Clive Tips.